Hey guys, welcome back. And if you are new, my name is Brianna. I do a bunch of different types of videos, some makeup, grocery hauls, vegan, cruelty-free, low-waste mother stuff, whatever I want to post, story times kind of stuff. So yeah, I want to do a recap of all the makeup that I purchased in 2021 just to see how I did. And maybe I will buy more this year or maybe I'll buy less. We shall see. So let's do this though. So I didn't buy too much actually. 2021, I had just had my second baby, my second daughter. And I just, at first I wasn't wearing a lot of makeup. And then with being home and everything with the whole pandemic, I wasn't wearing a lot. And then I started wearing more. And then definitely towards like the end of the year, I was wearing more makeup. Let me know if this is considered like average or is this a lot i know on youtube this isn't considered a lot but like in the regular normal world it's considered a lot so in january for christmas i got a sephora gift card and an ulta gift card so i will show you what i got from that so from ulta i got the morphe hint hint skin tint in the shade hints of cream i wear this all the time i'm not wearing this today but i wear this a lot and I've used up quite a bit, honestly, probably like more than a quarter. And I really, really like it. It is not super drying. You can, it reminds me from what I've heard of the NYX Total Control Drops, where you can kind of, if you want it to be, I've never done full coverage per se, but you can kind of customize how much coverage you want to use. That is the only makeup actually from Ulta that I purchased during that order. I think other things. I think I bought a sunscreen or something. So anyways, I bought that. Also, when I also bought two primers, primers. I had heard Amy loves makeup talk about this and it took forever to get here. It was super cheap, but it is not a primer for me. I've used it kind of as like a like cut crease-ish. It's the Crow and Pebble in the shade Parchment. It's like the blank page Parchment concealer it's kind of I feel bad saying this because it is like an indie brand and a very small business it has like this almost like piece of plastic in here like I don't know what that is but it's and it's just kind of like I barely used it but it's not basically blends in my skin it was very weird I'm like it's not it's definitely not a primer. Like, I don't know if you, maybe if you have dry lids, which I don't, I have oily lids. So yeah, anyway, I might just give that to somebody, honestly, cause I haven't really used it. It was very cheap. So yeah, I bought that. And then I bought the, everyone was talking about this. So I bought it, but now I use it as a concealer cause it is not a primer for me. Again, I have very oily eyelids. The Gerard Cosmetics blank canvas in the shade Fair. I use it as a concealer. I use it almost every single day, honestly. I love it as a concealer. And then I bought the, this was in April, I bought the Los Angeles palette by BH Cosmetics. That was just like a random, like I walked into Ulta and I wanted to buy something, as well as the, the Milani Cheek Kiss Blush in Coral Crush. I really, really like it. It was my first cream blush. So yeah, bought that. And then I don't know exactly what I bought next. So maybe this will be a little out of order. Sorry. I bought these two brow gels. I think I bought them like around the same time. The ColourPop brow gel in dark brown. And then the Elf Wild Brow in dark brown as well. I think those were separate hauls, but I bought both of them from Ulta. And then I also bought the Elf Lash It Out Loud, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'll put it in the corner. Mascara, I think I bought that from Target. And then I bought this on Amazon because <laughs> it was cheaper. My favorite eyeshadow primer, the Smashbox 24-Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer. I love this. It is my favorite eyeshadow primer. It is the only thing that has ever worked besides my NARS primer, which is not cruelty-free. I don't believe it's vegan. So I don't use that anymore, but I use that for a long time. But I've used this for, I believe, two years. And I also I also do like the Milani one. I haven't had that one in like a little while, but I wanted to repurchase this. And I've 
used quite a bit. <laughs> I, that was like all I purchased for a while. And then in November, I bought, I, I did like a VIB um, little haul and I bought the Melt Mascara. I really, really like this. I'm wearing it today. It's definitely nice. It's not like the most dramatic mascara. I'm just wearing like one coat today. So it's lengthening. It's volumizing. Like I said, not my favorite mascara, but not like the worst. It's, it's sweet. It's pretty, you know, I think it was like $24. Also in that haul, I bought the LYS blush. The Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush in the shade Kindness. I love this blush. I'm not wearing any blush today, but this is usually what I wear. That was my second cream blush. And that, and then I bought, and then to round that off, I bought the three awful, awful, awful eyeliners from ABH Norvina, the Chrome Sticks, whatever. I bought the purple one, the green one, and the, the nude one. So bad. Oh my God. I don't even want to talk about them anymore. They were super drying. $18 for each of them. I don't care if I got money off. They were just awful. And they did not last whatsoever. They weren't pigmented. Okay, off that soapbox. Before that, though, I did actually, I think on my birthday, I bought the One Size Translucent Powder, which I really like. I just got the mini size because I will probably take me forever to use this up. But I really, really like it. It's pretty. I love Patrick Star. So, yeah. At Ulta during Christmas time slash Black Friday, I bought three eyeliners from LA Girl. I bought the shade Lullaby. It's just like a, I'm wearing in my waterline today and a little bit here. It's like a champagne shade. And then I bought the shade Dragon, which is like a metallic green. And then this one's more of like a matte, the shade Vivid. It's just like a like it says a vivid purple like like this and then oh actually i sorry <laughs> i bought this at sephora too the bare minerals mineralist eyeliner in the shade topaz it's just a matte brown but it's a pretty matte brown and it does last in my waterline i have watery eyes so if i see something last it's probably gonna last so anyway and then i can't don't know when i bought these but I repurchased in a different shade in December. And then one was like, I think it was like, maybe it was January, I don't know. The NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I had the shade Espresso. I think it's a little too dark. So then I'm basically out of this. So then I repurchased it and I accidentally bought this color because I thought I had brunette, but I actually had Espresso, but it actually ended up working out. So. And this looks actually more natural. I'm not wearing it today. I usually wear it, but this is the shade brunette. So I will swatch those though. So brunette and espresso and brunette. I thought espresso looked better on my brows. I was like, oh, I have really dark eyebrows. They're not like, I mean, they're not light, but I wouldn't say they're like super dark. But it just makes it look a little more harsh. And if I do mess up, you can tell. Whereas the brunette shade is a little more forgiving. Like I said, I'm not wearing it today. And then you guys already know about my beautiful Davina eyeshadows. I bought in the Black Friday haul sale. So I bought those 12 beautiful shades and then I bought a matte pink. Just like a, there we go, pink. And that is all the makeup that I bought in 2021. So let me know if you guys love any of these products or hate any of these products. It's just makeup, so it's not like super serious. And let me know what you, some of your favorites were and some of the things that you did not like in 2021. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.